e vaikanai gogzi shia e lokiami atgal e aplinka. Ninety-nine out the first part tunnel. Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome back to Around the Grounds. It's episode 126, it's my third proper season doing it and today I'm heading off to McDermott Park to see St Johnson play against FK Trakai or if you want to be a complete nerd and go with a complete joke this is poor patter but uh, FK Tracky Bottoms or Trakai Bottoms as we'll call them today uh, yeah, I'm wearing tracky bottoms just for the joke, so uh, don't slag my fashion sense. It's it's not actually as bad as it used to be, but uh, yeah. So we're getting the train in about twenty minutes, and then we're meeting Fraser in Perth, and then we're going to get some scran at McDonald's. Then we're going to the game. Anyway, guys, enjoy. And just for your information, for those who are new to the channel, I am a Motherwell fan. Don't worry, I'm not. I'm not betraying Motherwell because Motherwell aren't actually playing tonight because, of course, we're not good enough to be in Europe, so might as well seize the day. Get also, I'm wearing a Scotland scarf tonight because I'm supporting the Scottish coefficient. Motherwell. It's June and it's been chucking it down the whole day. There we go. And yeah, time to include a wee travel montage with some Lithuanian Eurovision entrant music. For a thousand years, through a million tears, with a hungry heart, every day I fall. I've been waiting for this night. I've been waiting for this night. So, we are in McDonald's in Bronstead. We have got chicken nuggets and fries. What have you got today, Frasquandro? The old chicken selects, I oh. chose the chicken selects. Oh, fair I selected dues. the chicken selects. <laughs> fair dues, enjoy. So Fraser, is, is tonight the biggest night on Tayside? Uh, European wise? Absolutely not. It's, it's definitely Perugia for me. <laughs> like, even though Perugia happened like, what, 14 years ago? <laughs> doesn't beat Tracker at home. <laughs> no way. St Johnson's opponents tonight. We don't know much about them, but I'm, I'm sure you'll have some intel. Intel and say the high die. Yeah. Well, founded they were founded in 2005, which makes them one of the youngest teams in Europa League, but not the youngest because we all know who that is. Oi oi. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think they just relatively got promoted recently to the Premier League. Because they're, they're, se they're second in the Lithuanian League, aren't they? Yeah, they've done, like, they're really quite consistent, although they can't get beyond second. I mean, they've been second for the last three years. And they've been in the final of the Lithuanian Cup two seasons ago. So, I mean, they're a good team, like, for a team that's only been founded 12 years ago. They've been in Europe, they've been in the Cup Finals. Not bad. We have parked. And we are going to... East stand today. Quite familiar with that name. But uh, I am the St Johnson end this time. Fraser, what do you think the score is going to be? I don't know, because obviously this is St Johnson's first competitive game since the last game of the season. Yeah. Track I have obviously 
they play, they've played about 11 games in their season so far. They're like second in their league. So it could be a difficult test. I'm thinking 2-1 St Johnson, but if St Johnson got an early goal, we've won games. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Of course. Well, it has to be me speaking, they have to sort of win. But I think it'll be either 2-1 to Johnson or 2 all, And then St Johnson will go in to win about 3 or 4 nothing in Lithuania. But you honestly never know, it's a lottery first game. So it gives open to Johnson to win. I'm on the well. I can't see him on the seat. I really can't. <laughs> That guy's definitely has some Russian vodka on his way here. Look at that job, that guy. half a bit to kick off. Do one. I think it's been a fair result. It's a tie. I mean, that number 11's played out his skin. It's been fantastic. That number 9 also been very good. What are your thoughts on the first half being there? Okay. Yeah, I think it's a fair result at the moment. See the mass exodus on McDermott Park. Took the pattern off the Red Sea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. You know how true fans stay to the end? Does that make us more true fans for St. Johnson than. The only time I play it, we get it games. Oh, yeah. Oh! Alright, see so you later. Like they all stop there. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> they all stop moving. Here we are at Perth Station, Platform 5, Edinburgh train, back to Lear Bank, change there, Cooper. Where's Platform 5? I'm feeling
overall, I actually really enjoyed the game. Okay, of course, another representative of Scottish football could potentially be going out because of that match. However, I'm not surprised. Because I've seen it with my own team, Motherwell, before in Europe. Scottish teams, when they're in Europe, their first match that's competitive and that has, that has any meaning whatsoever is against a team from another country and usually it's another team that's actually played some matches in its season because it, how common is it for Scottish clubs to go out to teams from like Lithuania, Belarus, Iceland don't even get me started on that I'm not going to sit here and say St Johnson were shite because Okay, they weren't they weren't at the best, and I think they're lacking a bit of pace because uh, they've got quite quite a few they've got quite a few slow players. So if they get someone in, perhaps before the second leg, I don't know if they'll be eligible at all. But it's just a suggestion. The thing is, I expected Trakai to be a very tricky test, and they proved that. I mean, that Oscar Dorley, the number the wee number eleven, ran the St Johnson ragged. As Fraser said, he made Brian Easton his bitch, literally, an 18 year old, and he's already been capped six times by his country, uh, so he is very good, and of course the, the big number nine, Maxim Maximov, what a name, he's a fantastic player, also the left back Wakili was quite good as well, sounds like a drink, but uh, yeah, anyway guys, that is all, uh, this video will be up first thing on Saturday on my birthday, come on the boys. Can't wait. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like down below if you want more of this Nazi content. Subscribe if you're new. I'm Gosling at nine. Bet you wish you were. Sterling away tomorrow. I'm buzzing. See you later, guys. Take care. We are the winners of your vision. We are, we are, we are, we are. We are the winners of your vision.